Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live from the Shibola Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia. Today is Friday, TGIF. Yes, TGIF. Today is Friday, April 9th, 2021, and we are 99 days in to the 365-day game of life, the 2021 edition. I hope that you are playing along in this game with us. So when you hop on here this morning, please say good morning, where you're watching from, and what type of Shibboleth day you are having today. I had a perfect day yesterday, and I'm planning one today. I have possible holidays scheduled for the weekend. I may or may not take them. I am going to go over to Alabama tomorrow afternoon, spend the night with my mom, just make sure she's still doing okay and everything. I saw her last, this past weekend. But this weekend is the only weekend this month that I can go over there, well, besides last weekend. So, good morning, Colleen from Michigan, having a perfect day. Hey, Amy from Ohio, having a perfect day. Good morning, Tracy. Tracy is doing an IMF perfect and a wow, and she's lost eight pounds since Monday. Way to go, Tracy. That is awesome. Awesome. Great. Kristen, good morning from Kennesaw, another perfect day, stringing them together. That's right. And she has her first 5K tomorrow, may have a holiday with friends after that. Yes, that would be so nice and enjoyable. Have fun. I'll miss you tomorrow at the shop. Good morning, Julie. Having a perfect day from Indiana. So glad you're on here with us. So tomorrow is my Shibboleth birthday. I've been with Shibboleth two years tomorrow. Good morning, Diane, having a perfect day. She shared, Kurt said hi, hi Kurt, and have a blessed weekend. Thank you, thank you. Y'all do like Diane does, just in look in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen if you're on your phone, you can press that share button and we'll be getting the word out, the word of Shibboleth and the word of the Lord because they get both here. Um, so I'm glad that y'all are here with me this morning. I'm going to go ahead and start our devotion. The devotion is called The Weekly Weigh-In. The verse is Psalm 4-7. You have filled my heart with greater joy than when their grain and new wine abound. You have filled my heart with greater joy than when their grain and new wine abound. So this is from that devotion book we've been doing. We're getting a little bit closer to the end, y'all. We're on day 44 of 60. And let's see. Good morning. Oh, thank you. Happy Shibby birthday. Yes, I'll miss you there. But you have fun tomorrow. Good morning, Marla. Let's see. Marla says, back on track Sunday. She's been having a vacation week this week, and she should be able to enjoy that. That's what we do. And then back on track on Sunday. Excellent. I hope that you've had a great week, Marla. Good morning, Charlene from Michigan. Having a perfect day, TGIF. Yes, ma'am. I agree with that. Good morning from Carrollton to Michelle Harper. Trying to stay perfect, trying to stay perfect day during these difficult times. Yes, it is hard. It is hard, Michelle. I'm so sorry. Y'all, Michelle's grandmother passed away. Um, let's give her some, um, some care, some care hearts, the little care guy. Um, and speaking of, um, needs, Patty Bass wanted me to tell everybody on the Shibby show that her son, Drew, made it through his, um, surgery yesterday well, and everything went good. So, and then we'll keep praying for Michelle. She's had several funerals this week, and now including her grandmother. Sorry about that, Michelle. I know it's hard. I loved my grandmother so much, so I know exactly what you're feeling. It's, it's hard, very hard. Good morning, Gina, having a perfect day. Good morning, Polly. Thank you for typing in the verse, Tracy. And Gina says, lost her Easter weight after wow challenges. Awesome, that's great, because now we have ways to do it. Starting day three of the detox challenge, awesome Lori, that's wonderful. Gina says the avocado wow is yummy. Yes, and Gina is praying for you, Michelle. That's awesome. I love that we can support each other on here with all the things that we go through, not just um, uh, Shibboleth. Oh, speaking of Shibboleth, I was at an event last night, and they had a whole bunch of food, and I wasn't eating it, and then somebody was saying, well, I bet this isn't right, and this isn't right, and I was like, oh. You know, you hate to have to tell people what they're doing is wrong, but I was talking. They were asking me, so I was telling them. And this one guy goes, 
You do not need to lose any weight. I said, okay, I'm not. I'm managing the weight loss that I received and achieved. And now I've got to manage it. I'm not trying to lose more weight. I'm managing my food. And today's not the day for that yumminess over there. I'm sorry, I'm not having it. So uh, it was funny. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. But sometimes they don't know. When you're not eating what everybody else is eating and you're at maintenance, they think you're trying to get skinnier. I'm like, no, I'm not trying to get skinnier. I just want to not go the other way. Believe me, I eat plenty on holidays, folks. Yesterday wasn't one. Um, Robin, Robin is doing the 10-day Jason's Challenge. Awesome. Thank you, Kristen. Yeah, I was like, I'm not dieting. I'm not trying to lose any weight. I'm managing my weight I'm managing it. Today's not the day for it. So, okay, we'll get into this weekly weigh-in devotion. While I no longer need to go to my nutritionist for a weekly weigh-in, I thought you might enjoy reading something I wrote in the midst of my weight loss journey. So yesterday, I went for my weekly weigh-in with my nutritionist. I approach this time with her each week with mixed feelings. If her scale is kind, it makes me want to throw my arms around her and call her my BFF. <laughs> That's funny. If her scale is cranky, it makes me want to throw my hands on my hips in protest and tell her how unfair it is that I have to stand on that scale fully clothed. Not that the alternative is really an option. I'm just saying. Those clothes weigh something, and I don't want that something making my numbers go up. When I weigh at home, I don't even wear a ponytail holder. That's like me. Not kidding. So, her scale was cranky this week, and I didn't even have one lick of the redneck surprise. Wait, wait. I didn't even have one lick of the redneck surprise served at the family get-together. It's a dessert involving chocolate and ice cream. Need I say more? Not one lick. How fair is that? I was lamenting via text messages with my ever-wise friend and exercise partner, Holly, and this is our dialogue after my initial whine and complaint. Holly, what matters most is that you are being obedient and using discipline as a means of worship to him. The numbers will fall as they may. Lisa, yes, but I like it much better when the numbers fall on the downward side. Holly, they will fall, trust me. Lisa, I know, but it sure does make my worship more joyful when I know I'm eating correctly and I'm actually losing weight. It's a bummer to be stuck for two weeks and I didn't even eat anything of that stinking redneck surprise. I didn't type that, but I sure was thinking it. Holly, are you are doing it correctly. You know that. It takes perseverance. We wouldn't want it to be easy, would we? Be rare. Lisa, no comment. I couldn't rub my toes. I couldn't rub my toes that just got stepped on in a good way and type at the same time. Holly, and remember that worship is about him, not you. That will make you joyful. Lisa, you are so right. Thank you for the reminder. I'm still happy when I see the numbers go down, though. That's rare, too. <laughs> Not with Shabola. Um, and so goes another day in the life of this healthy eating pursuit. I guess my next spiritual challenge is to be more motivated by the reality that I'm doing the right thing rather than seeing the right thing on the scale. I like the way that was written. I guess my next spiritual challenge is to be more motivated by the reality I'm doing the right thing rather than seeing the right thing on the scale. This is why we have our timing chart. So on those weeks when you don't lose something, you can look at the timing chart and get excited that you have you have that visual that you've done the right thing no matter what. So that's that's that was a great statement that she said. What a great spiritual lesson for more than just healthy eating. It's easy to do the right things when we see immediate results. But sometimes I think it pleases God more for his girls and guys to do the I added that to do the right thing even when the results are not so immediate. Holly is right. My focus must be on healthy eating as an act of worship to God, not the numbers on the scale. 
As the psalm writer said, you have filled my heart with greater joy than when their new grain and new wine and redneck surprise abound. I got special permission to add in that last part. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so we always want the scale to go down, don't we? And we, we've had those conversations, whether it's been with a friend or whether it's just been in our head, we've had those conversations too. But just know that if you are journaling what type of day you're having every day, you're creating an icon in your timing chart. And then that is a visual to confirm that you've been doing the right thing. And if you have a week where you don't lose any weight and you're in weight loss, then you can say, it'll catch up. I have been doing the right thing. So you can use that other chart as a visual that you're doing the right thing rather than the scale giving you that gratification. So sometimes we have to use something else. Let's see, let's see. Good morning, Valerie from Indiana. You have a blessed weekend too. Thank you so much. Hey, Becky, having a perfect day. Have a great weekend. Deanda, good morning, Deanda. Deanda, everybody's doing great. I am F day today. Um, yes, discipline is worship. It really is. Even when we pass up something called redneck surprise, I mean, it is, it's worship. Even though we might think that's, it's big at the moment because we want it, our taste buds want it. And then what we also probably think it's small too. But all in all, if we decide to not give in to it on a day that we've already chosen that it's going to be a perfect day, then it's it's worship. It's discipline and it's worship. So y'all enjoy that. Hey, Patty, there is Patty right there. Hey, Patty, I just told everybody that what you told me to tell them about Drew. Columbia, Tennessee, the sun is shining. Patty was entertaining me by taking selfies in the hospital and sending them to me. And that was fun. Um, <laughs> good morning. Yeah, that timing chart. Oh, it's awesome. It is so fabulous. Thank you, Diane. This is uh, from Black House White Market. This top is. I like that store. And Colleen, you're right. It always catches up. Yep. So you can't be focused on the scale. You have to be uh, focused on whether or not you're doing the right thing because it always catches up. That's awesome, Colleen. Sharon. Oh, Way to go. Oh, Lord. I'm going to have to do my little thing on this one, Sharon. Sharon has an answered prayer. Her knee is healed. Praise the Lord, Sharon. Awesome. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Thank you. All right. Yay. That's awesome. I love hearing an answered prayer. That's wonderful. All righty. Well, I am going to read this prayer. We're going to hop off of here. I want you to... Yeah, Deanda's right. She says there's also some perfect foods that retain water as well. Yeah, water is a tricky thing. You know, you get one, uh, two to three grams of water will attach itself to even fibrous carbs. They attach themselves to food, so it it's it's a it's a it's an it's a balance. It goes up and down and up and down based on what you've eaten. So you've got to understand that if you did right but didn't lose any weight. It might be that you are burning fat but retained water, and that'll show up in a day or two. Yes. Go, God. I love that, Colleen. I love it. Okay. Yeah, so Tracy must have had an extra and a snack with her three meals. Yes. Okay. Good job. All right, so let's make sure that we journal what type of day we're having to create those icons on the timing chart because we know they're helpful. If you're watching on replay, please type in hashtag Shibboleth for his glory. Dear Lord, I want to be motivated by the reality of doing the right thing more than seeing the right thing on the scale. But this is so difficult at times, Lord. It really is. My desire is to worship you and please you through this journey more than anything else. I ask for your strength to continue in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So I'm really excited. I got a new, um, what time is it? I'm going to show y'all this right now. I got a new shirt. It arrived in the mail yesterday, but I didn't see it until this morning because I had a busy night last night with networking. Um, so this Black House, no, this isn't Black House White Market. I went to Black House White Market to go shopping and they were closed. And so I had to go in next door to Chico's, which it's okay. I like Black House White Market better. Um, but I've got a pair of navy pants and that, I don't know if y'all remember that green shirt that I wore the other day. I, um, that I got, bought a navy pants to go with that. And so I got this sweater. It's a navy 
stripe. Isn't that cute? It's kind of hard to see right there, but it'll look really great with the navy pants. And it's going to be fun. So that's my new sweater. I'm going to have to make sure it fits because they didn't have my size at the store. And then I thought, well, order two sizes. And then I'll just take back the one that I don't want. And they only had one of the sizes. So I ordered it and we'll see if it fits. But thank you. That green shirt. I got so many compliments on that green shirt. Yes. Yes. Um, Patty says she's been sniffing fast food restaurants again, but not eating there. <laughs> so funny. Thank you, Patty. It is a cute sweater. I'll show it to y'all um, once I get it on. Yes, everybody have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you on the Shibby Show on Monday morning. Bye, everybody.